Hi there, Tim Mitchell here. I wanted to share with you briefly the details of an upcoming four-day SSIS training class that I'll be delivering in conjunction with my colleague Andy Leonard in December of this year in the Washington, D.C. area. I'm really excited about this class. This is one that we've done before together. We're going to do it again after this, but for this particular delivery, I really hope you'll consider joining us if you're looking for advanced SSIS training in the Washington, D.C. area. So just a little bit about the presenters. So Andy Leonard and I have been working together for a little while. We've actually written a couple of books together on integration services. Um, we're both professional SSIS consultants and data warehouse consultants. This is the, the kind of stuff that we do for a living. We've got lots of war stories to tell. We've learned lots of lessons, many of which we've learned the hard way. And as part of this class, we hope to share some of those lessons, those design patterns, and the things that we've learned along the way with you. So as I mentioned, it is full four-day classroom training. So some of the things that we'll be going over, we'll talk about design patterns. And when I say design patterns, generally I mean the high-level concept, not just the how, but the why you would do something, best practices and things of that nature. Um, we'll also get very deeply into the nuts and bolts as well. So it won't all just be theory. We're going to talk a lot about specific examples of things that you can do in integration services We'll have lots of uh, not just whys, but hows, uh, and we're going to spend more time in the designer, more time in, in the product than we will in theory. So the way that Andy and I teach classes, it is highly interactive, so we strongly encourage discussion. We strongly encourage questions. Um, we, you know, we try to keep things on uh, basically on topic, but we do have some variation and some allowance for somebody ask a question. Maybe we'll even whip up a, an on-the-fly demo if somebody's got a specific question about something. Um, we do have lots of prepared demos that we'll show, um, and then after that, we still have more demos. And did I happen to mention that there are demos? Um, all that to reinforce that, although we do talk about theory, that is important, we spend a lot of time actually showing you the things that we're going to be talking about. We show you the design patterns, we show you the best practices, and so on. So you go away with not just knowing how to do something, but actually having seen it done. Some of the things that we'll be talking about, we'll spend time on the, the data flow internals. And I don't necessarily mean the column mapping, mapping column A to column B. But under the covers, what you're not seeing that's taking place whenever you run a data flow. And that helps you get a better understanding of things like performance, uh, of prepping for, uh, for error operations and things of that nature. We will spend some time talking about performance. We'll talk about how to measure performance as well as improve performance in your SSIS packages. For those who are using 2012 and above, um, we'll talk uh, a little bit about the SSIS catalog. We'll talk about some of the pieces in that, like execution patterns, logging patterns, and so on. Uh, we will spend some time on error handling. So this is one of the more important topics that I think in building advanced and robust and reliable SSIS packages, you have to spend a lot of time thinking about what happens when something breaks and avoiding that error or responding to that error appropriately. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about scripting as well as security in SSIS, not just package security, but credentials used to execute the packages and so on. So as we might have some bonus material as well. Uh, there may be some chicken farming stories. Andy's actually done some chicken farming in the past. I'm a big baseball guy, so I'll probably have some baseball stories. Certainly we'll have a lot of horror stories. So we'll share some of those things that we found, uh, many of which have been found the hard way. Hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes that we've found in the past. Um, also on bonus, you don't see it on the slide, but 2016, SQL Server 2016 is right around the corner. Um, based on some of the, the early community technology previews of the beta software, we already know a lot about what we're going to see in SSIS in the upcoming version. So if we get time toward the end, we'll also talk a little bit about what's coming down the pike on the next version. So some of the details, this will be held at the Betchel Conference Center. Uh, it's in Reston, Virginia, which is just outside the D.C. area. Um, you're close enough to D.C. that if, you want to, if you're from out of town and you want to see some of the sites, it's really, really close to D.C. 
Um, logistically, we'll provide, uh, in the morning, we'll provide coffee and snacks. Uh, we'll take care of lunch as well. Um, not sure how the free pony got on the list, but I'll tell you what, if you bring 20 of your friends and they all register, uh, we'll try to get you a free pony as well. Those are the basics of the class. It's a quick drive-by. We would love to talk to you if you've got questions about uh, some of the content, how things will flow, whether or not the class is for you. If you do have questions, feel free to contact us. The link is on here. This will take you straight to the registration page. This is sponsored by Lynchpin People, so you can go to the Lynchpin People website. You can reach out to us via the contact form there. We'll be glad to answer any questions that you've got on that. Um, in the meantime, we do look forward to seeing you there, and, uh, and I hope that, uh, that you'll register, and I hope you get a lot out of the class. Thanks.